the last thing that I want to share with you guys is about the test listener. So for example, if you already uh, using all the tests we're using, but it's still kind of repetitive. Like uh, if you have some action that you need to do every time that uh, you start the test case. So it's going to be nonsense if you uh, keep drag and dropping it into this test gate, right? So the most basic way for you to do that is to implement that into the test listener. So how to do that? So when you when you 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 kind of create the test listener and then you kind of put some method with the tag of annotation of before the test case or after the test case or after the test suit, then every time that you run that test case, it's gonna run that feature, that function, or that test case for you. When you create the test listener, uh, all right, so there's a lot of annotation inside the test listener. That's it before the test case, after the test case, and before the test suite and after the test suite, right? So if you want to do something before the test case, then you need to add this annotation in. And whenever you executing a test case, it's gonna be automatically run this one. So for example, I want to command something before the test case. So I gotta make this command hello test case. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the simple web UI command. And okay, and right now I'm gonna run my test case over here. So that you can see in the log viewer, the first thing it's gonna do is to command some the command hello everyone over here. All right, so that's how we using the uh, test listener it's gonna be the same for the after the test case or after the test suit for the test listener one it's gonna apply on the global level but okay. if you want to apply that for the test suite then you can do it inside the script mode in the test suite over here so okay you you got the setup of the test suite right so be is this one is gonna run before every test suite okay. every thing. yeah so for example, if you want to run the test suite, that, that's going to be a comment like, hello, right? And then when you're executing this test suite, uh, the first thing it's going to do is to comment out this one, right? Or okay. if you want to do it for a test case. So if you want to do it for the test case, so the first thing you need to do is to adding a, uh, a method. That's called setup for the test case. And then you need to uh, define the setup method over here. So it's going to be the same for the test suite one. And then you can call in the command or yeah, for, for example, the real case scenario that you're going to use it is like deleting all the data or, you know, creating the data. So this one is the way how you do that. And you can, you know, doing the tear down. So when when you're talking about the tear down, it's maybe when the test gate is passed, when the test gate is fail, or when the test gate error is gonna do the specific tear down when that case happened. So for example, if the tear down it fail, so it's gonna delete all the data, right? So you can call the method to delete all the data over here. How can we pass a value from one test case to another? Okay, so let, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so for example, we have we have this test case over here that, uh, for example, if you want to log in, right? But you have multiple accounts that not this account admin, right? And you want to do the login. So uh, all you need to do is to create the test case. So I, I will create the test case first. Test case zero one. Okay. And I want to call the login action into my test case. 
uh, but it's gonna log in with different accounts. So what I'm gonna do is to make this add the variable. So how to make it add the variable? So we have the tab called the variable over here. And when you want to parameterize something, you need to create a variable for that and go back to the manual view. And in the input, you need to change the value type to the variable and adding the name of that variable into here. Okay. And then when you go to another test case, so for example, I want to call this test case login with different account into this test case. There's a way for you to parameterize the common test case. Uh, okay. So for example, I got this common page action login with different accounts. Yep. So you can see it's will ask you for the input over here, right? And then you can type in the, uh, the, the value of the variable of this one over here. So that's the way for you to parameter like that.